Hi everyone, it's Steve from SmartPE. Thanks for joining me today. And we're going to be looking at the protocol for the ruler drop test. And this fitness test measures reaction time. The equipment that you're going to need in order to conduct this test is a ruler. And you're also going to need a partner or an assistant to help you conduct the test. So the partner's going to hold the 30 centimeter ruler above their friend's hand or their thumb and their index finger. And their thumb and index finger should line up with the naught centimeters or zero centimeters mark on the ruler. Without any signal or any clue, the partner is then going to drop the ruler and the participant must catch it as quickly as possible. The point at which the ruler is caught in centimetres is then the person's score for their ruler drop test. Once you've received a score in centimetres, you're then able to compare it to the normative data table in order to get a rating for that person's reaction time. The test should be completed three times by the participant and their average score is taken. OK, so the three times the test is taken and the average score is then worked out and compared to the normative data table. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to read the exam question at the bottom of this page. And I want you to see if you can then use the normative data table to interpret and work out Lewis's rating for his reaction time. So pause your video now, please. OK, now that you've done that, Lewis's score of eight centimetres should mean that he got a rating of above average as it is just above 7.5 centimetres, but less than 15.9 centimetres. If you need any more help with any of the fitness test protocols, just scan another QR code.